beautiful souls. I'm here with one of my favorite trees that I will show you at the end. The camera is attached to one of her branches right now. And her name is Harriet. And today I thought I would share a video with a message from nature. And so I'm going to connect with Harriet. And I'm just going to close my eyes and connect and leave some space for you to just hear the birds in the background. It's so beautiful here today. So as I'm connecting, just enjoy the beautiful sound of the birds. And there are bees buzzing about and people walking by. And she is present with us. And so I will just ask her now what message she would have for all of us. What she would like us to know in these times. What's important to me is that we are returning to nature. I was so thrilled. I was listening to the radio the other day and a woman in Montreal in Canada mentioned that she loves the city and she loves connecting with people and so whenever she went out it would always be people in the foreground for her and because of this isolation we're in when she would go out the people weren't there and she started to notice nature more and more and she feels like that will be the shift for her on the other side of this that nature is also there and I was just thrilled when I heard that because I had a strong feeling that that is one of the benefits from us being in isolation and having this quiet time is that we're realizing that nature is there and she's becoming more prevalent in our experience because the busyness of people isn't there. So I'll see what Harriet would like to offer now. Oh yes, indeed, people of the earth. Oh, I feel our energy coming into me now. Beautiful, blessed souls, we are delighted to talk to you, for we, the trees, are always happy when we have this opportunity to share with humanity how much we have to offer you, how we are here with you, going through this experience with you. And for us, of course, it is a very different experience because we are always in stillness. We are always standing in the moment, in our environment, feeling the birds and the insects and the grass or the vines growing up our trunks and mm, holding space for nature that lives among our branches and going through the cycles of life of flourishing with our leaves and allowing them to fall. Even the evergreens lose some of their needles in this cycle. And so for us, the cycle, even though the pattern of the cycle stays the same, there is always much change because we are very much tuned into our environment. We recognize that a winter is more harsh and some of the insects may not survive and the flowers are more affected. We recognize everything that happens as these cycles repeat themselves because we are always present, always here, always in the moment. And for humans, this could be one of the greatest learnings. We would say it is one of the greatest learnings that you are getting from this time of your isolation is to be present within yourselves to be more aware of your environment because you don't have the same distractions that you've always had. For some, this means recognizing that what has been their environment, what has been their way of being, is no longer what they want to do. It no longer serves them and they will be ready for change on the other side of this. For some, it is a whole new discovery of the internal self and what is coming up within them and the fear and the sadness and the emotions that move through and not being able to run from them in the way that they have in the past and so they are present with their feelings and their emotions. For others it is families who suddenly are more present with each other 
because again, the distractions aren't there, the busyness of life is not there, running from work to after school activities, so families with children are coming closer together again, and the awareness is within the family and being together. So there is so much that this pandemic is bringing about in your life experience and what we delight in and what we would like you to recognize is that it is changing your world. Your world will not be the same on the other side of this and this is not in a negative way. This is actually something very beneficial because you are seeing more in your going within, in your retreating within, in your stillness the irony is that you're actually seeing more because you're not able to distract yourself so much with your busyness and being hectic and, hectic and running about and hardly even seeing where you're going. When you stop and you get still, you have an expansive view, just like from a treetop. When a bird sits at a treetop, it has a very expansive view. And in your stillness, it offers you this expansion. It is a bit of a paradox. By slowing down, your vision expands. You could think of it as running through the woods. You have to keep your feet on the ground because you have to make sure you're not going to trip or stumble. But when you slow down and you have a sense of just envisioning a larger part of the path in front of you, you can look around and you can see more and you can take more in. And this is the invitation from nature at this time, is to take more in, see more of your life, and come to know where your life could use more stillness. I'm just wondering about a question that I can ask her that would be beneficial for us at this time. I'm feeling a great return to nature, so I'm just going to ask her if this might be a part of what happens on the other side of this experience. That, I mean, she's already said that people are slowly coming back, but I have a feeling that there may be this new awakening to nature in the process. So I'm just going to ask her about that. Indeed, this awakening is happening, and to contribute more to what was already spoken, for those who have lived in countries where there was even greater restrictions on even being able to leave the house and how often they could leave the house and having to get permission or only one person is able to leave the house, these people are going to come to appreciate just being outdoors, just being in nature just stepping a foot outside so much more. And so this again is creating a deeper appreciation, a deeper awareness of the honor and the privilege to be outside, to be active, to be on this planet. And so there is much that this time is revealing to you. And so, she's inviting now for me to just allow some time for hearing the birds, hearing all the life around me, and I'll just take my camera out and share this view a little bit, give you a better sense of the view. Some of it is a bit dark, I guess. Because of the light, it's getting closer to the end of the day. And to give you a view of Harriet, this beautiful tree. I've got this turned so I can't really connect with what you're seeing. There she is. Very, very tall, very beautiful. And the beautiful Arbutus and other trees and all the birds. What a delight.
Okay, I may add to this before I finish up, but just wanted to share something from the great outdoors today for all who are yearning for that and feeling this return to nature. So much love. Talk to you soon. I kind of think of Vancouver Island as the Hawaii of Canada because it's much warmer than the rest of the country and certainly from my native province of Nova Scotia on the east coast where we have quite harsh winters and when I discovered this place on the hill it felt like the Machu Picchu of Canada because these beautiful grassy areas on the top of this hill with this magnificent expansive view mountains in the distance below those clouds and there's a turkey vulture starting to find its way not sure if it will come and so I feel very blessed and I recently had an Akashic Records reading and this was described as my power spot no surprise the first time I came here after I moved here I came up on this hill with my son and I looked up and here was a hawk that circled twice directly above me and then off it went and I have not seen a hawk up here since. So I know it was really welcoming me and affirming really that this is a power spot for me. And in this reading I was also told to connect with, in the ethereal realm, a golden tree, a buttery golden yellow tree. And I just had this reading recently, a friend of mine was learning and wanted to practice and so I came down here on this edge of this cliff here, which I'm going to make my way down now. I'll go this way since I'm holding the camera. And I was sitting on the edge of this cliff and I connected in with this beautiful golden tree and just asking for its wisdom and feeling the energy of it because she said for me it's very much like a guide and it would be good for me to connect with it often and so the first time I really took the time to sit and connect I was sitting here and on the edge of this rock face so you can see that it goes down 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 below and so I'm sitting here and I'm planning to move farther north on this island and I will certainly miss this hill when I do and so I was just connecting with my guides while I was sitting here and asking them to support me in finding my new home because there aren't many listings right now for places to rent. And so I'm connected in and my guides tell me in the first three or four days of June, I will see the listing for my new home. And just as they said that, I had my eyes closed in meditation. Just as they said that, I heard this whoo, whoo, whoo. I opened my eyes and flying across in front of me, about 10 feet in front of me, and actually below me here on this cliff side, was a bald eagle that flew by just in the moment that I said that. And it was such a confirmation of what had been said. And afterwards, you know, I realized how often do you actually get to look down onto a bald eagle? I was higher than the eagle. It was quite profound. And so I just have every confidence that I will find my new home in that time period. So just wanted to share this beautiful place with you before I'm no longer able to come to this hill so often. And share my deep appreciation of nature and 
how nature so fully communicates with us. When we come to be in tune with her, she really sends us beautiful messages like the hawk and like the eagle. So I invite you to pay attention. So much love to you all.